in racist video game news. With the question mark? I love racist ah. video games. Submitted by me, obviously. No, not me though. Me, obviously. All right. A Chinese American congresswoman is urging online platforms to not allow a video game that she deems is racist and full of stereotypes. What game is that? All games? There's a Chinese congresswoman? <laughs> <laughs> that, we need to do a story on her. Who is this lady? <laughs> Yeah, so this, uh, what's her name? <laughs> New York City, a congresswoman named Grace Meng. She posted on Facebook saying this. You have to read it in a Chinese accent. I can't do that. You want to do it? No. What? She's all Asian American and shit. She is Asian American. Like fourth generation. <laughs> she is Asian American. Uh, so she says, I wish I could say that I was shocked that there is a new video game soon to be released called Dirty Chinese Restaurant. Her English is fucked up. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, a dirty That's Chinese restaurant? Dirty <laughs> Chinese restaurant. That is fucked up. That's yeah. too blatant. This game uses every negative and demeaning stereotype that I have ever come across as a Chinese American. From the names used for the characters in the name uh, in the game. Like? Oh yeah, I do know. It's Wang Fu and Wang Fu. Uh, Wang Fu! <laughs> Wait, is that is that demeaning? I, I don't know. But let me continue. Uh, uh, to the types of food they cook, to the distribution disturbing depiction of their faces, this game epitomizes racism against Asian Americans. I fear that prejudice against and othering of Asian Americans remains a form of racism too frequently brushed off and tactically accepted. Racism against Asian Americans is just as harmful and pernicious as racism against any other group and we must call it out when we see it. How we portray people matters. I urge Google, Apple, Android, and any other platform to not carry the game Dirty Chinese Restaurant or any other game that glorifies and hurting any community. So I'm going to show you guys a clip of the, the game, the promo game clip. Sounds awesome so far. <laughs> it's... You know what's funny? She's probably helping the game be promoted even more because I didn't know anything about this no before. I heard it about until yeah, she talked Everyone's going to like want to download it. That's and true. So let me know what you guys think. Here we go. <laughs> this is who created the game. Big O Tree or Bigotry. Because being politically correct is so boring. <laughs> Fucking rice hats. It's like Diner Dash. Yeah, it's like- Is this a real game? Serve those customers. Operations, market, cook. Sweatshop mode. What if this- Came out straight from China. Look for deal. Oh what? my god! What the fuck? Gamble. Gamble. <laughs> Do you have a gambling den in the back? <laughs> Is it fucking for real? Such. Oh wow. You go get ingredients by dumpster diving. Oh my god. Tax evasion. No! They're chasing dogs and cats with the cleaver. <laughs> oh my god! It looks like a game that you two would have made. It does. I know. That game, I mean, I don't know where she's from because I've also seen like uh, like New York Chinatown. I mean, like I mean, spe specifically in New York. And I know that Chinese culture is like really, really strong there. Where even fourth generation Chinese, they feel really connected to the roots. Uh, but I think out here, like, when you're an Asian American, and because you see, like, this fresh batch of fobs all the time, uh, you feel more, less and less connected to, I guess, to the motherland. So when I see jokes like this, for me, it's like fairy tale. It's like, that's like some crazy 1970s, 1980s jokes, and it's so outlandish that it becomes funny. So for yeah. me personally, I have nothing uh, against that. Me neither. <laughs> but someone that lives like in Chinatown, like in New York, or is a around there where it's actually a booming thing, like our Chinatown, it's pretty much like a ghost town. Yeah, you know? it's, it's like a tourist trap, but the Chinatown over there is an actual living, breathing community. And if they are fighting these struggles every single day, then I can see why she's pissed at it. But for me, because of where I grew up, I, to me it's like, it's just so funny. That shit is so fucking outlandish that I didn't know anybody would take that shit seriously. I mean, yeah, just look at the name of the company that created the game. Big O Tree Game. So is it, it's a for real game? No, it's like, they're, so this is a quote from the, from the company. They said, 
It has come to our attention that our small independent game, Dirty Chinese Restaurant, has upset some people. <laughs> the title's awesome. <laughs> Our game is mainly satire and comedy influenced by the classic politically incorrect shows we grew up watching such as South Park, All in the Family, Sanford and Son, Family Guy, Simpsons, and Chappelle Show. We also listen to Jay-Z. Our game is- <laughs> We listen to Jay-Z so it makes it okay? Yeah, that part, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when Jay-Z made it okay to talk shit about Chinese people. I don't know. Uh, our game is in no way meant to be an accurate representation of Chinese culture. Obviously. Yeah. I don't I don't think anybody looks at that and says this is what China <laughs> That's like if someone r made a game called Dirty Redneck and it's exactly. just a guy that lives in the trailer park and then he fucks his sister and he goes around making moonshine in the backyard and then he steals shit and you know like has one tooth like that probably does exist. I yeah, feel like that, that game has to exist somewhere. It sounds like Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> It's just poking fun at extreme stereotypes. Yeah. I don't know. I I like the first statement in the game about the whole like being politically that's, correct is so boring. Everything is so of... fucking politically correct nowadays. Mm -hmm. I I like games like this. Like if I was a congresswoman, I wouldn't ban the game. I just want to see the other games you're going to create. Like I want to see the black game, the latin game, the white game. I just want to see the whole array of games. And then if, if only the Asian one is like really fucked up, then I'd probably get mad. But if all of them are that outlandish. Well, what are your thoughts on like the people that are against this game that say like, you know, it just perpetuates more stereotypes that you're trying to remove the whole culture away from. Maybe because we live in California and we know that white people here aren't that fucking stupid to see that game and actually believe that's how Chinese people are. Maybe, you know, it's coming from people who live in the Midwest where there are a lot of uneducated people who don't understand, mm -hmm. like, you know, they might really believe that shit. But I don't know anyone that's that fucking dumb. Well, Grace here, she's, Grace. she's from New York, you know, or like at least she's a congresswoman in New right. York, so it offended her. It offended a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, I mean it makes sense if, uh, like Bart said, like, you know, New York Chinatown and their community is they take that stuff maybe way more seriously than we do out here. I don't know. And maybe in her world it's a little bit different just because she's in politics. So she's probably around a, pe a lot of people that aren't so uh, familiar with, I guess, Asian culture. And then for them, they might just be like... Or satire. Not necessarily taking all that and being like, oh, that's the truth. But then things that they've probably heard growing up, they're probably like, oh, okay. So some of these things might be partially true. <laughs> Yeah. I think I think it's an evil that is kind of necessary though in today's age just because uh, and I'm, I'm only speaking for Asian American media uh, which is I feel like Asians or even Asians from you know the motherlands like I feel like there's a there's a conscious effort to make Asian characters Asian storylines be very uh, stoic and perfect and these you know perfect heroes and stuff like that and we never we rarely ever laugh at our flaws you know I remember Jet Li when he made Fearless and he depicted a, a you know a really respectable uh, kung fu master but he was depicted as a drunk in that film because you know according to the filmmakers that's really what happened to him but then China and the kung fu community there they got really mad at Jet Li and they were trying to ban the film because they t depicted this master for being you know a drunk and yeah. so like I think there's a problem there where Asians don't know how to laugh at ourselves, you know, and we just and that kind of holds ourselves back in, yeah. in, the, in the world of, of media I, I agree a hundred percent because I think you show more strength by being able to Like make that beneath you and laugh at it. Yeah, like it's so outlandish that to take it seriously makes You seem kind of weak. I feel like the black community went through it and it was like all right Well, we're gonna one-up you guys and show you like the Mexican or the Latino community went through it, too You know like they had a bunch of shit that was considered racist, but then it's like you kind of just put, you know, you you work on your craft, you have really good actors, and then they have, you know what I mean? Like they rise to the top, and it's like you expose the reality of like, that's not really what we are. I mean, I could definitely see some people being really offended by this just because if you're like third, fourth, or fifth generation like of like Asian American, like you can't really relate to that as as much as like those who yeah. are- Yeah. You never tasted cat before? <laughs> I never tasted cat. 
kind of, I'm sorry, Bart. It's so delicious. I get it though, it's kind of like, yeah. we, we've been here for a while, but then they still look at us as these strange foreigners that fucking eat cats all day. But <laughs> and, uh, that's, that's Orange everywhere. cats too. Yeah. Like, you still like have orange. that with like Mexicans. Yeah. Orange. yeah. orange, it's like the Garfield kind of yeah. cat. <laughs> Honey for Garfield. So cute. <laughs> oh man, dude. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Just Kidding News. And if you did really enjoy it, or if you have thoughts about what you just watched, leave a comment down below and let us know. And for the next video, click right up here.